what's going on everyone welcome back welcome back welcome back to the vlog i just wanted to jump on really quickly don't mind all the mess in the background it's been chaos getting everything ready for our move i'm actually sick right now i'm sick with a cold and my allergies are still killing me so it's just been a crazy two weeks <clears throat> it seems like one thing one bad thing after another bad thing after another bad thing after another bad thing so at the end of April I had my my um, niece and nephew for two weeks I had them the last week of April uh, through the first week of May I had a great time with them after they went back home my almost two-year-old was sick he had a really bad cold a week after he'd had already already had a cold he was still sick he started having fevers and so we ended up taking him to uh, the emergency room no actually I took him to urgent care first um, at urgent care the doctor wasn't comfortable sending us home and suggested that we take it take him to an ER so um, we took him to the ER because he was wheezing pretty badly and he needed a breathing treatment so I took him to the ER we did the breathing treatment he wasn't having any more fevers he was doing well so he recovered from that cold he does have an inhaler now for whenever he does get sick <clears throat> the baby got sick he recovered and then I started getting sick so now I'm sick with a really bad cold and it, like two days ago I noticed my five-year-old had something in his eye to me it looked like glitter I'm like okay Eli has glitter in his eye we tried washing the glitter out we tried using like a little paper towel to kind of just flick it out of his eye that didn't work so my husband ended up taking him to the ER to get the glitter removed from his eye they had to use um some numbing um, eye drops in order for them to remove the glitter they did that so in a matter of two weeks we had uh, one week we had one kid in the hospital the second week we had another kid go to the hospital which was crazy and then um the baby now has pink eye <sighs> so it's just been one thing after the next with um, our health and hopefully everything starts to go a little bit more smoothly as we get closer to our move day we have exactly like 29 days before we move the movers will be here um, a little sooner than that so we're trying to organize everything for them to be able to move to pack and move our things easily I'm still working on my daily challenges for my mental health awareness series and that's been going really well we've also been picking out some of our um, stuff for the new house we recently picked out our couches and I'm so excited about it we haven't heard back from housing so I feel like until I actually see the place where we're gonna live, I shouldn't really do too much shopping until we get there, but we did need the couches. I won't be able to really figure out what I want in the house until we see the space. So yeah, that's what's been going on. We've been recovering from illnesses. We've been getting everything ready for our move. And that's pretty much all we've been up to, being sick and being busy for anyone wondering about what i'm doing with my hair i still haven't decided i don't know if i want to stay short a little while longer or if i'm just gonna go ahead and grow my hair out so right now i'm at a point where i need a haircut so i don't like that look because now i'm wearing a wig <laughs> because i don't like the way my hair looks when i need a haircut and i don't know if i want to cut it or if i want to just grow it out so until i decide i've been covering it wearing hats wigs scarves until I make a decision. I also sprained my wrist in the midst of all of this and it's been killing me. I've been wearing um, like a wrist compress thingy, compression garment type thing on my wrist and it's made it really hard for me to do anything I need to do like dishes, folding laundry, you know, trying to go through things to get rid of stuff. It's really made that all super difficult. But anyway, we're gonna make it through it. I just got back from a meeting at the school for Ethan. As a lot of you know, Ethan is our child born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. He was also diagnosed with ADHD and anxiety. So at school, he struggles a lot. And we went to the school for his new 504 plan. He has a medical plan at school. And he's also going to have um, a paraprofessional work with him at school 
That way he has someone to keep him motivated, keep him focused. I should show you my husband right now. He's so ridiculous. <laughs> I won't do you like that. Can you let me film real quick? I'm gonna turn this camera on you. <laughs> um, we updated Ethan's 504 plan and then he's also, it's also recommended that he has a paraprofessional for himself so he'll have an aide all day and hopefully we can get that carried over to the new school as well. That way Ethan can do much better in school. And another thing that we are definitely starting is family therapy. As soon as we're settled, we will be starting family therapy. I think all the boys can benefit from it. I think I'm gonna save more of that for another video. The reasons why I feel like we need family therapy because it's pretty deep. We had a lot of stuff go on in the past few days. Some of it made me super, super sad and super depressed. So like, you think you're doing so well as a parent, you think your child is doing so well, and then they come out of nowhere. Like, they come out of left field with some stuff that they have on their hearts, and you're just like, how did I not know? How did I not notice something was wrong? And um, yeah, I'm gonna save all of that for another video because I wanna make sure I have enough time to really get into it. But anyways, guys, this will be it for this video. Just a quick little chit chat. Say hello. Hope you guys are all doing well. For everyone following along with our journey, thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. And yeah, have a good rest of your week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.